Good morning, this is Mary with Mojo Designs. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Today we're going to be um, watercoloring this image from My Favorite Things. And I use Stays on Ink. I'm using Stays on Ink Jet Black for when I like to watercolor because it is a solvent ink and it's permanent and it doesn't bleed. And I have a black mat underneath so that hopefully you get a perfect stamped image every time. I like to watercolor with reinkers. Here. The colors that I'm going to be using are um, apricot peel, chocolate chip. Pink Pirouette, River Rock, Riding Hood Red, Soft Suede, Artichoke, More Mustard, Baja Breeze, and um, Basic Gray. Okay, now what I normally do for the skin is I take a little bit of apricot appeal and a little bit of River Rock, just a really small touch. And that gives me a nice flesh color. And like with Copic markers, I do my darkest around the edges. Come back in with a wet brush and kind of blend that edge so it's not so harsh. The watercolor paper I'm using is by um, Fabrino and this is a hot press and now I normally favor or this is a cold press. I normally favor hot press because it's smooth. It's a smooth tooth and it's just awesome. We had a wonderful time on our vacation. Thank you guys for all your well wishes. Now we're going to color the arms and the legs. And I'm just going to quickly lay down, you know, slosh on color. And then where my darkest areas are, like under the arm, on the one side, under the leg here, under the dress. Then go back in with a slightly damp brush and just kind of push around that color a little bit. Oh, and I forgot the little, by her shoes. And then I keep repeating this, this same process. Like right here, there's a little bit of a, a color line that I don't like, so I'll go back in and let it dry and fix that. I'm going to use um, Writing Hood Red for her dress. again my darkest and red you know is one of those colors that bleeds really easily like just like any of your dark colors and I'm again taking a damp brush and blending that color line and just pulling this color down and we'll add more depth and highlights in a little bit. Okay, and then now color in the second half of her dress. And pulling the color down so that it's the lightest at the bottom. It 
again, it's easier to add more color when you're watercoloring than to take it away. So just quickly sloshing down. Some color. I want to take by her arms. Under her arms are going to be dark under her little chin there. And then you just pull that color down to blend it through. And because the paper was already wet, it did a lot of the, the pulling the color out for you. When I first started card making, watercoloring was my ultimate favorite technique. Then I discovered Copic markers. And I hate to say that I don't watercolor as much. Just because Copic markers are so fun. That'll be good for now. And I'll do her little shoes. I'm just outlining so I can rinse my brush off. And then on the tip of her shoe, I want to just pull some of that color down so that there's a little bit of depth. And color her little heart. The brush is a little too damp. little ponytail holders so that they match. Then we have her hair and I like to use soft suede to lay down the first just a really light and then I do have this horrible cloth that's sitting on my lap that I use to, to wipe my brush in between the strokes. My boys are here with me. I'm surprised they're not laughing at me. <laughs> That's my oldest son. They're being really good boys while I'm trying to record this for you guys. So I quickly lay down a really light layer of color with the soft suede. Then I'm going to come back in and have more concentrated um, color at the crown, you know, down here. I'm going to have to push some of that back. It's too wet. A little hairline there. All right. Mm -hmm. Why that's kind of drying before I go back and add some um, dark mm -hmm. chocolate chip. Highlight. We're going to color this little watering can. And like with the rest of it, I want to quickly lay down just a light gray. It's probably a little bit darker than I want. Oh well. Some light gray ink. Then I'm going to pick up some darker gray and come in from the outside. You know, create those highlights in the middle. 